My name is Tony To. I work for an organization called Homesite. We're a nonprofit uh, community development corporation. Uh, historically, we specialize in home ownership. So we build homes and we help uh, primarily low income first time home buyers to buy homes. So I am actually an immigrant. And we came to this country because uh, my parents couldn't afford to send us here for education. We came here basically with nothing. Uh, my, my father didn't even speak English. Uh, and they started from the ground. They, they got, my mother worked two jobs, my so did my dad, uh, to put us through school. When I was in college, I think when I was just growing up and doing my thing, I felt like, okay, this is what I'm supposed to do. So I taught English. I did a lot of uh, counseling for people that didn't have papers to help them get papers. And so the women worked in the sweatshops and we were trying to help them get organized with the unions. Uh, the unions didn't have people that spoke Chinese. So it was from that experience that I realized not everyone can help themselves. Uh, and the problem with neighborhoods like the Rainier Valley uh, is that when you don't, if you don't own real estate, you're gonna be displaced. I, I try to do things that work because oftentimes when you just rely on the system, people are being served, but they're not necessarily being helped. There's a lot of immigrant and refugees in Southeast Seattle, in Rainier, Rainier Valley, and most of them come to this country, and one of their goals is to educate their kids and to buy a home. And so we have a home buyer counseling program. We don't turn anyone away. We help them with a the down payment is how our program works. So we raise money uh, and we provide the down payment that they need. And then that would help them to get qualified for a mortgage. 70% of the land in Seattle is zoned single family. It's actually very exclusionary. So what it means is that the people that were able to buy homes, that's it. There really isn't an opportunity for other people because when you can build two or three homes on a lot, the price is gonna be lower than if you can just make, build one McMansion. So I know there's a lot of resistance and nervousness about density, but I think moderate density uh, is actually a good thing. And I see that, that, that this community has been uh, open to that. The other thing is that many of our cultural institutions uh, are not, not able to stay in this community. One of our partners is the Odessa Brown Clinic, which is located in the Central District. They're expanding and moving in onto our site. And part of that reason is because many of their patients, old African-American families and their kids, they, they are all the way out in South King County now. They can't afford to live in the Central District. And so they can't even get to the clinic. And so they're moving south. They're trying to follow their patients. <laughs> More of the stories in the Rainy Valley should come out because this is a really great community. It's a diverse community. It's a, it's a very thriving community and it really should be an example for the rest of Seattle.